Hey guys, this is Tolhi, um, and this is Spore Part 18. Now things are going to look a little bit different. Um, mainly I have these two new colonies set up here. Some of these lines are a bit different. Um, I basically did half an hour of recording of this. I didn't realize it was half an hour. I thought it was 15 minutes. I kind of lost track. But the whole thing, like the whole half an hour, was really me going to every single one of these planets out here going... Uh, looking for a T1 planet that basically had some sort of decent um, spice, like basically not red or yellow, but I couldn't find one. And so the entire like video basically ended up me going like, oh, this planet doesn't have T1 in the right spice I'm looking for, and this one doesn't have T1 in the red or like and not red or yellow. This one doesn't have T1 and not red and yellow. And so I just didn't like the commentary. So I said, you know, is, I'm there's a stuff you guys miss out on, on me losing that half an hour of video. Um, but it basically, I don't feel it would have been good commentary. And so basically all you really missed is that these two guys, the, these sort of orangish yellow, uh, guys are fighting amongst these, uh, purple guys. So they're kind of in an all out war right now, kind of back and forth, constantly fighting. I discovered a couple more people that I haven't, I didn't actually see what they look like. Um, because I didn't actually, when I saw like the little communication thing, I sort of moved away from those planets and my, I did find a, uh, a warp hole or war, like, uh, the uh, wormhole, the uh, warp hole. Really? That's for me. That's really bad. A wormhole from the amount of sci-fi stuff. Anyways that I, yeah, I should know how that term off the top of my head should not have to stop and think about that. Anyway, so we got this planet over here, yellow, but it was T1, so I didn't have to use any tools. And then I'm currently working on this system, which has a lot of different spices, but there are, none of them are actually T1. And this one here, I'm trying to get to T1, um, and I've used uh, two ice uh, storms on it and a uh, atmosphere generator. But so far, it's just just on the outside of this line, so I just need another atmosphere generator, but I'm only ha I only have half the cash for it. And I think that's pretty much all you missed. Not a lot happened for half an hour of footage, and that's part of the reason why I'm scrapping it. Um, I didn't go through this wormhole, but I kind of want to see what's over there now. Now, I'm not sure if wormholes bring you back directly um, to where you... Um, I guess I have to go around this way. There we go. I'm not sure if they, they're like one way or two way. But let's go through and see what happens. Oh wait, I can't go through. Oh. Oh wait, do I, I think I might need some sort of drive in order to travel through those. So I might have to buy something. Okay, anyways, so, um, let's see. Oh, I'm running low on energy. Let's go home planet and recharge. This is the one thing is I often forget to look at my energy. I need to just buy a energy source and just start like um and i also get a lot of spice from trade and then i just take it and sell it right back as soon as i pick it up um at least i think that's where it's coming from because i come here and i get red spice and other spices as well small energy storage and i need okay so i need just a little bit more money and i'll be able to get that another atmosphere generator so let's go over here and try and sell my red spice um trade Okay, sell, uh, I'm only 10 away, okay, um, let us, hmm, I suppose I could do a mission, these guys are under attack, oh weird, okay, um, so, ooh, special item, let's check this out. Okay, over this way. Oh, another paintbrush tool. Um, oh, right, in the last part I did find two more paintbrush tools. Chocolate Hills. Um, let's see if I can find them. I found the Gear Mountains. Um... And the sky organizer in, in the in the 30 minutes. 
Um, anyways, so right, I think I want to do another adventure. Um, because I think that's part of the reason why I felt so, uh, like the last one didn't work so much is that I didn't do any adventures in it. Okay. Okay, what do I gotta do? Um, incoming transmission. Um, those guys are probably fighting again. Okay, so intelligence report sighting uh, of items where the stars in two to three parsecs from the red star name. Oh, the inside reports sighting of an item of the item. Okay, so there's an item somewhere I need to find, and it's around here somewhere. Um, if I come over to this planet, yeah, it's got to be one of these two. Two to three parsecs from this planet so it falls to one of these two planets is where I need to look find the treasure um, am I gonna have radar here Really, no radar? Just have to fly around the planet looking for it? Oh wait, on the- on a planet, Melton. Oh, wait. Okay, so there's an actual planet I'm looking for. Okay, so it's this one. Wow, if I read the mission descriptions, this might not be so difficult. Okay, so we need to find the crown somewhere here. And there it would be. Right, now I can go back and return it and get some cash, hopefully. Now, which one did I take this from? This one? Okay, uh, glad I could help. Yay! Oh! Asteroid call button, atmosphere, freezer, large energy storage. Ooh. Some new tools. They sound like more advanced versions of the tools I already have. Okay, um, wait. So I want to come down here, recharge my energy, because I got to stay on top of that, and then oh, some more spices. Nice. Um, trade. I need another atmosphere um, generator. Buy item and sell these guys. Okay, now get over here. Zoom in and in further. Now, hopefully, by using this atmosphere generator, we'll finally get this up into the T1. Oh, man, I keep forgetting that if I fly too close to the surface, I take damage. Why is it curving off? Just enter into the... Thank you. Ah, it's not that hard. Okay, and medium planet, Me medium planet, medium plant, large plant. Oh, I also bought a bigger storage container, uh, which you guys may see. Um, and another herbivore. Okay. Stabilized T1. Uh, now we can start uh, adding my 
Uh, buildings. Okay, and then let's see here what what cash I have. I don't have much. Let's toss down one of these and one of these. Okay, and so I'm gonna start uh, fully furnishing this or fully furnishing. I'm gonna start fully uh, making. How do I say that? Um, I'm going to be making this planet a T3. Um, fully upgrading. There's the way I want to say that. Um, so I'm going to need more plants for my... Or new species for my cargo hold. And I believe this planet was based off of an existing T1. So it should have different plants and animals here. That I can swipe. Um, okay. Now, uh, let's grab some new plants and animals. Oops, didn't mean to throw those around like that. Okay. Okay, so now I have a cargo hold full of some new plants and animals. Um, I'm going to drop these guys off though. Um, because I'm going to need another carnivore type. Um, wait. No, I picked up a carnivore. Omnivore. I'm going to need another herbivore type. Um, to be able to fully flush out a system. Like these guys. So now I have enough different varieties of plants and animals on my ship that I can make uh, a planet into a T2 without having to travel around to gather more. Excellent. But this also fills up my cargo hold so I can't, uh, oh, can't do anything else. Try and get this, there, there's the angle I like. Okay, um, right, so... I'm still in need of more cash in order to start um, further developing this planet. So I will do one more adventure and then we'll probably call this one. Let's go do an adventure with these guys. They also have a, their planet also has something on it for me. Let's zoom in and take a look. Another crafting tool. Okay. Oh, planet color reset restores the planets to its original color. Interesting. And I guess the Groks are now attacking Melton. Honestly, I don't care. It's not one of my planets. Couldn't couldn't care less. Uh, not to sound cruel or anything, but I just don't have time to be dealing with the Groks on other planets, solar systems. Um, although they probably will evade and then bad stuff will happen, but whatever. Um, wow, I really need more cargo space. Hmm. Trade? I could just sell some of these artifacts, I suppose. But I don't really want to just toss these artifacts away. I want to hang on to them, because they said if I hang on to them, then I can sell them for more. Um... I don't see any new levels of cargo hold though. Hmm. Oh wait. Requires the collector 2 or the merchant 3 badge. So I'll have to keep selling stuff or collecting more species. Okay. Um Right. So that's probably going to be enough for this one. Um again, sorry about whole missing stuff, but you didn't really miss much. Um just a lot of this changed. But that doesn't really affect the core gameplay, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I want to get to the center, but I really need to get this economy up and running, and it's really moving right quite slow right now. 
but hopefully once I get a couple of these colonies really booming and getting uh, some spices in, then I might be able to uh, start moving towards the center of the galaxy, galaxy faster. Anyways, uh, this is Tolhi signing out. Later, guys.